Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to set up the Blue Wallet, which is an iOS based Bitcoin wallet that supports the Lightning Network. So let's get going. All right, here is the uh, website for the Blue Wallet. Uh, this is an iOS based wallet, so I'm going to share my phone with you guys and we'll walk through the initial setup. Okay, so this is a full-on Bitcoin wallet where the private key is stored on the device. And what this means is that uh, no one else is going to have access to this wallet except us in case of any emergency were we to lose the wallet or accidentally uninstall it. So during the setup process, we're going to be asked to write down our seed phrase. The seed phrase is very important we can use the seed phrase to restore the wallet at any time in the future. So even though the wallet is going to be empty when we write this seed phrase down, if we were to add funds to it in the future and then lose access to it, we'll be able to restore access to those funds by using that seed phrase to restore the wallet. So take this very seriously. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. All right, so we're going to head over to the uh, App Store. And we're just going to do a search for Blue Wallet. Alrighty. And we'll just uh, hit the get or download there. Alright. And then we'll uh, just open it up. As you can see, I downloaded it before, but I'm sure you guys know how to download apps, right? Alright, so uh, this is the screen we're going to be presented with when we first open the app. We're going to create a wallet. So uh, we'll tap the little plus there and we'll start with Bitcoin. I'm just going to use the default there, the HD uh, SegWit uh, BIP49 uh, P2SH. Alright, and we're going to hit uh, Create. All right, and now that we've created the wallet, we're going to want to back it up so that in case we lose the device, we'll still have access to it. All right, so uh, we want to back this wallet up. So I'm going to tap the wallet. All right, and then I'm going to tap those three white dots up in the right corner there. All right, and so we're going to use export backup. I'll just tap that. All right, and there is the private key. And those words along the bottom are a 24-word recovery phrase. So we're going to want to write them down. And my suggestion is uh, to get a piece of paper. You want to write the name of the wallet and the date that you're backing it up so you don't get it confused with any other seed phrases that you have. And then we're going to want to number the, the uh, words in order. So we'll go left to right, top to bottom and we'll write one and hit the first word and two and hit the second word and just go on down the line. All right, and once you've got those words written down, uh, you just wanna make sure that uh, you know, you're numbering them and that you have a total of 24 when you're done. So uh, you know, if it ends up with 23, you wanna just double check to make sure you may have skipped one. So, uh, and then after you're done, just double check, uh, read through all the words and make sure that you've got them written down correctly. Uh, you'll thank me later if you ever lose access to this wallet. All right, and we can also uh, rename this wallet uh, if we wanna name it something a little more uh, meaningful to us. You can name it whatever you like. All right, and so at this point, there is nothing in the wallet. Now, uh, I want to add the lightning support. So in order to do that, uh, we needed to create this uh, first wallet. So I'm going to tap the plus, And this time, I'm going to go over to lightning. And I'm going to create a lightning wallet. All right, and so there I, I have a lightning wallet over there. All right, and so it looks like uh, we can uh, move uh, a working amount of Bitcoin into the lightning wallet for faster transactions and uh, cheaper fees. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll start with putting a little Bitcoin in the uh, main wallet. 
And uh, so I'll just tap that main wallet and I'm gonna hit receive, all right? And now this is the public address. This is the, uh, the public facing part of the wallet that I can send out to anyone that uh, I would like uh, to, for them to send me Bitcoin. In this case, I'm gonna be sending some Bitcoin to myself, right? So I'm gonna use this public address to send some Bitcoin into this wallet. So I'm gonna tap share and I'll just email myself this address. All right, now if you were using a web-based uh, desktop Bitcoin wallet or a web-based uh, exchange where you purchase some Bitcoin and you wanna send it to your own wallet, then uh, that email is gonna give you that address so that you'll have access to it. You won't have to type it out, you can cut and paste it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Coinbase app on my phone uh, to purchase a little Bitcoin and move it into this wallet. We can do everything uh, through our phone here. All right, so uh, I've got access to the wallet here. I can just go over here to accounts. Uh, to Bitcoin and I'm just gonna buy some Bitcoin all right it's pretty easy to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase uh, you can see there I just have to put in the amount I can put in fifty dollars right and then uh, you'll notice I have the choice of my bank account or my debit card I'm gonna choose the debit card it's much faster all right and there we go uh, there is going to be a small fee for Coinbase, so uh, if you can think of an alternate way to do it where you have lower fees, that's great. Uh, this is uh, the easiest, simplest way that I've found uh, for people that are just starting out. So uh, I'm going to use Coinbase today. All right, so I'm just going to hit buy now. All right, and I don't want it to be a uh, every week recurring. So I'll just uh, skip that part. And as you can see, the uh, Bitcoin became available in my wallet right away. Really easy to do. All right. So now that we've got that, uh, we'll just go over here to the Bitcoin wallet. Let's go back over here to our blue wallet. I'm going to hit share and this time I'll hit copy. Right. So I've copied that uh, public address into my clipboard. And then I'll go back over here to Coinbase. And I'm not going to buy or sell the Bitcoin, right? What I'm going to do is send it. And it's a little tricky, uh, but there is a send feature in Coinbase. And it's that little paper airplane in the top right corner. So I'm just going to tap that, right? And then it wants to know how much I want to send. I'll go ahead and just send uh, the $50, right? And then I'm going to tap next. Oh, <laughs> I can't send 50 BTC. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Uh, I'm going to switch to dollars and I'm going to hit uh, F. Uh, I'm going to hit uh, 50. Right. And then we'll go next. And now we want to uh, paste that address in. So I'm going to tap and hit paste. And that's the address of my blue wallet. All right. All right. And then I'm going to hit next. All right, and then it's going to show me uh, the estimate of the miner fee. It's going to be about 77 cents, a bit high on Coinbase. There are easier ways, or there are cheaper ways to do this, but uh, I'm just going to bite the bullet uh, for the sake of simplicity, speed, and uh, convenience. I'm going to hit confirm send, and the Bitcoin went out immediately. All right, so let's go back over here, check out the blue wallet. Uh, the Bitcoin address was my own. I don't need that. It's coming to me. So I'll just wait a minute or two for the Bitcoin to show up here in the uh, blue wallet. All right, so the uh, transaction came in, but it hasn't uh, quite confirmed yet. So uh, as you know, or may not know, uh, Bitcoin transactions have to confirm on the blockchain in order uh, for them to be completely spendable. But we can see that the uh, Bitcoin has arrived. It uh, just hasn't totally confirmed yet. 
So we can go back over here and we can see that uh, the transaction came in about 15 minutes ago. Uh, I had kind of been waiting for it, and uh, but I hadn't done a refresh. So um, if you're in this uh, interface here, you can just kind of pull down with your finger and let it do a refresh. And then that uh, transaction came in. Oh, look, and then uh, now it's showing up in the wallet. All right. So uh, it looks like it's uh, available. And so what I'd like to do is uh, put it over into the Lightning. So uh, let's go over to the Lightning. And uh, Lightning Wallet should be used for your daily transactions. To start using it, tap Manage Funds and top up your balance. Okay, so I'm going to hit Manage Funds. And I'm going to hit With uh, Refill. And then I've got, I guess, this wallet that I can use. So it wants to know how much I want to put in here. And I've got a 0 .009 with a little extra. So uh, I'm just going to put the amount in there, 0 .009. And uh, then I'll create that. It looks like it's auto-filled the address for me. And then I'll hit Create. All right, so uh, I probably needed to leave a little extra in there. So I'm just going to tap it down a tad. We'll do 0 .008. Uh, there'll be a little left over in the wallet, but let's just say I want a working balance of around 40. So this is fine. And that should leave me enough extra Bitcoin in the wallet to cover the uh, mining fees or the, uh, the Bitcoin network fees. So let's try again. All right, and uh, so now it's happy. So now I want to hit send now. And there, now I'm done. Now I have that 0 .008 in my Lightning-based wallet. I hope. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now the uh, transaction is showing is going out from my original wallet. You can see there's the 0 .008. All right, and then at some point, it should show up in this wallet as a balance. Uh, but uh, it might take it a bit. Uh, it took several minutes for the Bitcoin to transfer into the original wallet. Um, so uh, just be patient. And the idea here is that once it's in the Lightning wallet, we won't have to deal with this lag and this confirmation delay. Uh, we'll have, uh, you know, money uh, locked and loaded in the Lightning Wallet uh, ready for uh, easy and quick transactions. Okay, and so now you can see here that the Lightning Wallet has a transaction that came through. And we're just waiting for uh, the blockchain confirmation for that. And uh, then we'll be locked and loaded and have the balance in the Lightning Wallet. Uh, but before uh, we go too much further, uh, while we're still waiting for this, uh, we do need to back up the Lightning Wallet as well. So uh, it is a, a blockchain-based wallet of its own. So uh, if we tap on the wallet here, all right, and we uh, tap the three dots up in the right corner, uh, you can see here that uh, I've got an export backup feature. So I'm going to hit that and you'll see there that uh, there's a private key all right so it looks like uh, there's no uh, seed phrase for this wallet uh, they're just giving me uh, like this uh... hmm okay export backup wallet export all right um, I don't know. I guess I need to copy this thing down by hand. Uh, I could take a picture of it, but that not may not be very secure. Um, all right, so uh, I'm just going to act as if and just uh, do my best to copy this thing down. All right, so uh, now that I've copied that uh, down, uh, I'm just going to double check my work to make sure that uh, I got it. 
And you want to make sure that you've uh, copied it down legibly so that you can read it in case of uh, you need to use it. <laughs> uh, so it's not very convenient, but uh, c'est la vie. I've done it. I've got it written down. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll, I'll probably come back and do the tag end of that video. So, uh, but uh, one last thing. I'm going to hit those three dots there. And I'm going to go to encrypt storage. I want this wallet encrypted so that uh, even if someone manages to get access to the phone, they're still going to need to uh, get access to this wallet. So I'll tap this encrypt storage and I'll create a password. <laughs> okay, so I have a password. And then uh, they have this plausible deniability. Under certain circumstances, you might be forced to disclose a password to keep your coin safe. Blue Wallet can create another encrypted storage with a different password. Under pressure, you can disclose this password to a third party. If entered in Blue Wallet, it will unlock new fake storage. This will seem legit to a third party, but will secretly keep your main storage with coin safe. New storage will be fully functional, and you can store some minimum amount there so it looks more believable. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, interesting. Okay, so at long last, the uh, 800,000 Satoshis uh, showed up as a balance in the Lightning Wallet. Um, I had to go to work, and so I had to come back to finish the video. Uh, but they are, they are there now. Uh, and, and interestingly, you can tap on the orange wallet, and uh, it can will change... Uh, you know the units so it can show as dollars it can show as BTC uh, and it can show as Satoshi's so uh, there we go we've got the uh, lightning wallet primed and ready and then in uh, one of my next videos I'll show you how to use that lightning wallet to make some uh, purchases online so uh, be ready for that one so uh, lots of ways we could have done this cheaper but I did it uh, for those of you who are just interested in the mechanics of it and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions about anything that I did uh, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time please join me for the live Q&A in LA uh, throw out any questions that you may have and I'll do my best to get them answered on the fly hope to see you there if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell there that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.